Yeah, uh, we were talking about great stories, right, with, with a bunch of players. Speaking of great stories, we got one that, that's kind of brewing right now that a lot of people, again, wrote off, especially like we talked about Elam, writing them off. But a guy that was written off by a ton of fans, I think including kind of us too when we were going over our rosters, is DeMar Hamlin. DeMar Hamlin's been running with the ones. He's been that starting safety. Obviously, Cole Bishop, Bishop's been out. Edward's been out. So he's, he's kind of had to step up there. They did bring in Kareem Jackson. But he's been running with the ones. And, you know, with Bishop, my first question, I guess, about Hamlin is with Bishop and Edwards injured, is DeMar Hamlin a lock to, to be that starting safety um, if they're not, neither of them are ready by week one? We'll start with you, Scott. I don't know. Um, Part of, well, a lot of me thought him going with the ones on day one was just because he knows the defense and the other guys don't. Taylor Rapp is the only one who knows it. The other guys are new. Like, we're going to, you know, first day, I'm, I'm assuming a lot of people in the chat and you guys played high school football. All the seniors started the first day of practice, and it was great. And then, you know, the underclassmen came and, you know, took the jobs that were open. Um, kind of the same idea. But with so many guys getting hurt in that position, being thin to begin with, and now getting really thin – with a couple of injuries, um, it, it's possible that he is out there. It, it wouldn't shock me if Kareem Jackson picks everything up really quickly because he has been in the league almost as long as Von Miller, maybe even longer. So he's seen everything, played in every defense, can fit right in. Uh, but from all accounts, DeMar sounds like he's doing pretty well. Uh, so it's definitely possible he's a starter out there on day one, which I don't think anybody had penciled in. Um, some of that being injuries, some of that being his performance. But – uh, it's going to be really interesting. It seems like Rap has locked up the one safety position, which we all kind of thought, but it's really an open competition with the guys they brought in and then DeMar and if either Edwards or Bishop can get back soon. It doesn't sound like that's super likely. Uh, they'll, they'll be back in there, but yeah, definitely not going to be who we thought starting uh, alongside Taylor Rapp at safety to open the season. I don't think he's going to start uh, week one as the starter, but I think, uh, for now, it's definitely the same. You know, he's got the most experience, and they're going to give him the run with it. Um, if he surprises and and does actually uh, show that he's capable, he's obviously got the leg up. But uh, Trell Burgess and Cream Jackson coming in, they're going to take some time to get up to speed. They're going to get some time working in preseason games, and I think uh, maybe a guy like Burgess, who's a little bit younger than Jackson, might be able to step up and do some things. Um, just my opinion. I don't know, obviously, that they would have signed. They signed Kareem Jackson first, and, and he's got a lot more experience. But Burgess, maybe with the synergy with Taylor Rapp from their time in L.A. together, I just think you could see uh, if he gets up to speed quickly, and that's not banking on it either, but I just think he might. Burgess would be my pick uh, to start probably with Rapp. Again, given the chemistry they already built, and uh, the skill I've seen from him, we'll see if he can actually take what he needs to do now is the mental part and grasp uh, the defense and the concept. Um, I have no doubt that he can execute it um, at a, at a adequate level. Let's say I don't think he's going to be a high level player by any means, but I think he could do it adequately. Yeah, I mean, especially with with Elam, you know, as much as it would be awesome to see him step up and be that number one and and, and really make a case that even if one of them come back, hey, I can I can play this position. Um, you know, he had a, he had some really good plays in the run game today, but was his one knock that's been kind of a knock for a while is is his coverage. How is he going to do coverage wise? And a lot of the a lot of this defense and a Sean McDermott defense depends on those two safeties back there being able to control the secondary and being able to control the passing game, right? Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer were always all over the field. Now, yes, they were also all over the field in the run game, especially Poyer, but, you know, you already have a guy like Taylor Rapp who is able to step up in the run game as a safety. Do you need two of them back there to start week one? So Hamlin, as much as I'm rooting for him, as much as everybody's rooting for him, um, you know, it's, it is very early still. We'll see how, how, how the rest of the training camp goes, how the rest of the preseason goes, um, especially with Edwards and Bishop, seeing how they they kind of recover and how, how serious their injuries are. We don't know exactly how serious Bishop's is yet. Um, but yeah, there's even like, like you guys said, with, with Burgess coming in with Kareem Jackson coming in, both, both guys that have been in the league and, and been on, on winning teams before um, they, they could definitely bring it back. Um, and I do see Andrews bringing in what's the word with Micah. 
Um, at this point, my guess at least is Mike is especially bringing in Kareem Jackson, who was, I believe I thought somebody, he's 36, I believe. If you're going to bring in a guy that's that old, you know, you might as well bring back Micah Hyde. So for me, it just kind of that seeing that signing kind of just put the nail in the coffin of, you know, he's going to, he's, he's, he's done. Well, let's talk about this for a second, if you don't mind. Um, I think that it's not going to happen in preseason though. He doesn't want to go through preseason. He doesn't need to. So if we're talking about him, we're talking about sometime after the third preseason game, maybe bef- right before the third preseason game, if he wants a tune up for some reason, but we're not seeing him anytime soon. If we're going to see him, it's going to be towards the you know opening game. And then we're going to uh, see him go out there. And I think that's going to be the avenue they take with Micah because I think he's still also making his decision. I don't think he really knows exactly what he wants to do yet. It's a big decision when you're actually, um, you know, talking about a man's livelihood after football and things like that. Can he still do it? No doubt. But does he want to risk, you know, not being able to play with his kids and things like that? It gets kind of deep after that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I would be surprised if Micah Hyde came back. Obviously, I, I would love it. I think everybody would just from, like, you know, my, my heart would love it, at least, just because, you know, he's a, a familiar face and, like, all the things he did for the Bills and kind of helped turn the team around coming in with McDermott, you know, all that stuff. Would he be effective? Would he be healthy? Like you said, long-term stuff, I'm not sure. Um, you have to imagine that him and Bean have interacted at some point or, like, someone has shot him a text, like, hey, dude, another safety got hurt, practice at 10 tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, you have to imagine that conversation's going on. But, yeah, I agree with what you said, Lance. Like, if he's going to come back, he's not coming back for training camp. He'll, he'll catch us at week one or something like that. It would surprise me, but, you know, definitely not out of the realm of possibility. Knows the defense. 